Alright, so I went out on a decent ride today, 135k, and then basically did some efforts up climbs and a, little, a couple of efforts on the flat. So you can see this is sort of hill climb intervals, big rest in between, but some good VO2 max. So 376, 333, 353, 372, 409, 360, 350. Um, and all these climbs are very different and interesting to analyze in terms of like how I held the power and how I feel about each climb. So first one I'm going to do is just ramble common, and this is like 7%. It's faster at the bottom, it's not as steep, and then it gets really steep at the bottom here, um, at the top, around this hairpin here, as you can see, uh, because the speed is a lot lower. But anyway, you can see I, I kept the power pretty consistent, I surged a little bit here. But on this climb here, it's like 7.2%, you're averaging 20Ks an hour, um, and for sure the, the first part definitely feels harder to like hold real big power. It doesn't feel too bad to hold this sort of power, but when you're getting like up to this real steep gradient, it's so much easier to just surge and um, hit a lot higher power. And a lot of what I'm trying to talk about is just due to the kinetic forces. So if you picture someone going 60 k's an hour on the flat, they have a lot of energy because obviously the kinetic energy they have is um, the half of their mass times by the velocity squared. So if you're going 60 k's an hour, um, you'll, you'll have so much more energy than if you're going 10 k's an hour or 20 k's an hour. And this really changes how you pedal because if you think if you're going 60 k's an hour, you are... Um, each pedal stroke doesn't actually change the speed that much because you think if you're going 60 k's an hour and you stop pedaling, you free wheel for so long. But if you're going 10 k's an hour and you stop pedaling, you don't free wheel nearly as much. So even though you're doing the same cadence, let's say, same power, uh, even same, and then you're going up maybe a 10% gradient going 16 k's an hour, or you're going on the flat at 60 k's an hour, the force is so weird and it feels so different. And it's, it's quite hard to explain really until you have a power meter because before that you can't really tell, but you'll suddenly know what I mean where you're trying to hold power on the flat and it just feels like you can't do it because on the flat you, you put a lot of power down in a very short space of time, but a, more. So you basically you're, you push really hard, so a lot more power in a shorter space of time. And on the longer, on like a climb, you put power down over a longer period of time, but obviously less effort. And that just depends what you train what you find easier. So this is now Box Hill, average speed 20, 23.8. And you'll see that all of a sudden, like, it's actually a lot harder to hold power, I find. Even though it's, again, pretty smooth and all the rest of it, it still suddenly is a lot harder just because you're going a lot faster. And for me, I find I can hold the best power and it's real steep because I'm used to holding maybe like big numbers when it's real steep because that's why I do most of my intervals. But on this climb, like I could hold threshold on this climb really well because I'm used to doing that. But I'm not used to trying to push VO2 on this. And that's the same with the flat. You'll see here, here's a bit of flat, flat rides. So obviously <clears throat> the power is a lot less. But even so, at 41 k's an hour, it just feels so different to ride. Like really, really different to ride. And I think this is the thing is you've got to train like on the flats, on the steeps, on the steep gradients, the not so steep gradients and the flats and the downhills if you really need to, because you'll find if you only train on the flat, you get good at the flat. Like before I went to Australia, I trained mainly on the flat and was very good at the flat. And then I like when I went to the climbs, I actually found it genuinely hard to hold power on the climbs, which is like never happens to me. And then when I came back from Australia, I came to the flat in the UK, trying to do efforts on the flat, really hard, really hard. I just couldn't, maybe 20, 30 watt difference. But this is all just because you train it. Some people I know, find it easy to hold power on the flat. Some people it's the same, but that's probably because they've trained it and they've done efforts on the flat, efforts on the climb. And for sure, it just takes tra like training, like obviously, but it's, it's one of those things that you don't necessarily realize until you get a power meter and you can actually quantify the watts you're doing on the flat. And you're like, oh, I can do 400 watts for five minutes on the, on the climb. On the flat, there's no way I could do that. Like at this moment in time, if someone's like, you've got like a team pursuit, individual pursuit, just smash it out. There's no way I could do it like, because I just haven't trained that effort. If someone was like 20 minute threshold or 20 minute threshold on, a tra on like a track, let's say on a flat, 20 minute threshold on the climb, I'd say they'd be within maybe 10 watts or so, not too dissimilar. And endurance rides, suddenly it's like I could hold 200 watts on a climb all day, could hold 200 watts on the flat like all day as well because they just don't seem as much. But the, it seems like the more power you're putting out, oh, okay, we'll ignore sprinting because that's just weird. The, like, the more differential there is um, for me, definitely. But anyway, what do you think? Is the kinetic inertia actually a big thing for you? Like, do you, do you find that or not? Because I know I definitely can feel it when I'm going really fast. Sometimes the power is harder to put out, but sometimes it's easier. Like when you're going real fast, 60 k's an hour, sometimes it feels easy to put power out then when it's like 40. But I think it's all sometimes your, your mind as well to some extent. 
But anyway, it's pretty interesting. And I think my next five minute test, I'm going to try and do up a real steep climb to make me forced to try and do as much power as possible because I feel like then I actually will be able to do more power. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this vid and I'll see you in the next video.